Okay, welcome back guys. This is so fun, I had to celebrate with some uh, coffee. I mean, it can't be better than this. We're going to an abandoned mine. The ruins of an abandoned mine to kill some kind of criminal hiding out there. And there's also monsters in there that we have to brave. So, like, this is basically as much fun as you can have. <laughs> And yeah, I'll stop by Doc Johnson. I think uh, he could teach us um, about um, new recipes. And I waited with that because, but I I want to I want to see what he can teach us now before we go. So it cost a thousand bucks. So I was kind of hesitant, but we'll do it now since we're on an important mission. Doctor briefly disappears in his back room and returns with a few notebooks let's start with antidotes okay that's not fun antidotes uh let, let's see i hope it, let's hope it was something better as well uh, 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 uh. let's see drugs and oh stim pack and super stim pack wow Okay, so Brock flowers, sander root, and empty hypodermic needles. But we need high first aid. Oh, I really hope Super Stimpak is reliant on doctor skill. Because I... No, first aid and science. So this is really hard to make in terms of skills. But it's actually... Oh, we need a doctor's bag as a tool. Oh, it's brilliant. This mod is so brilliant. Oh, nice. So we're going to need really high first aid skill and science. And I think this is going to be worth it to build super stim packs. Because the recipe isn't that uh, expensive. One fruit, one new Coca-Cola and two stim packs. Ah, nice. Wow. Love it. Okay, Let's see what this is. Got it. okay. We see someone here, a rough-looking person, and another one. Then <laughs> something blew up. What the hell? Okay, mutated big rat was hit for thirty-five hit points and killed. Gang thug. Okay, we're getting attacked by rats, and I'll use. Uh, yeah, I need to use a jet. I'll use a, use a couple of them. Like that, we have five strength now. A bunch of action points, and... There seems to be a lot of... Wow, so many... Mines? Hmm, can we... Can we loot? Okay, watch out, Zulik. This seems dangerous. Okay, we need to check for traps, I think. These raiders have... We should have so high perception that we can uh, find traps. Yeah, we see a raised plate. I don't see where. Oh, this is dangerous. Where is it? Where the hell is the raised plate? I don't wanna... Don't want... Uh, maybe I'll tell these guys to stay, actually. What you be needing? Want to take oh, a look this, is, this is making me nervous. I don't want Zulik or Cassidy yeah. to walk into some mine and die. Well, so okay. they'll... I'll leave them here. Hmm. Maybe we sh could like fortify ourselves in some building and... Uh, set up traps around it. Okay, okay, what happened? Only a mole rat. Maybe we'll go sneak mode so we won't get spotted by the raiders. Okay, Zulik and Cassidy is coming out anyway, because... Hmm. 
Yeah, this is pretty dangerous. Maybe I should actually leave them outside of the map. Okay, I don't see a raised plate here. Even though it's said so. A rope. And some desk there as well. Let's check that out. Flares. Yeah, you see, this house is actually pretty good. You can set up traps at the entrances. Hmm, let's take care of these guys. More rats. And I forgot to reload. By the way, did I even use my... Didn't I find a... Hmm. Yeah, I must have used my uh, small guns. Let's see. I don't... I can't see how this building looks inside. Okay, now I can. Can we enter here? No, it's just a window. Can we fire through the windows? No, we can't. Hmm, but we can could set up um No no no, okay, they're attacking. What the hell? Gang thug sees a raised plate. Can they uh, like see traps as well? And I keep forgetting to reload. Where's the goddamn uh, raider? Use burst mode on him. We can't. This is too far away. What the hell? Target is out of range. Okay. Strange, but... <laughs> They're running into their own traps. What the hell? Okay, this is super strange. Is something like blocking the line of fire? I don't un understand at all. Okay, now... And something else... What? Okay, something is going on. Like, they have set up traps, it seems. And I hear explosions going off, but I don't know from where. And what kind of weapons? Uh, they have a sawn-off shotgun. Both of them. Use burst mode through both of... Oh. Okay, that was not very good. We can actually fire again. Ooh, badly. No, no, no. Ooh, shit. I'm almost dead. Oh, come on. Don't miss. Okay, he's fleeing, that's... Oh, nice! <laughs> okay, we got more thugs coming. Oh, shit. From all directions, this is a really tough fight, and I couldn't, like, I didn't get the chance to set up any... <laughs> and I'm still laying there. What the hell? Okay, that looked good. Gang Thug was killed. Oh, no. What happened to Cassidy? Critically hit for 50... No, no, Cassidy! Oh, Cassidy's getting... Come on, Super Stim Pack. Cassidy, heal yourself, goddammit. Oh... This... No. 
31 hit points. What can we do to help him? I don't think we can do anything. I, I need to heal. And I can't even get to him. Heal up. Oh, I don't... Um, I don't have high hopes for this. Can we fire? No, we're too far away. Okay, what's gonna happen? Oh, no, 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 Cassidy! Oh, shit. Fuck it. Oh, that sucks so bad. We lost Cassidy. And I have li this useless mine trap kit in inventory instead of... Yeah, this was not did not go as planned at all. Let's do this. Throw at these guys. Ah, nice. Revenge for Cassidy. Fire at this guy. Where's Sulik? He's coming. Okay, I think we'll back off and throw grenades. Let's see how many action points we have. Uh, 10... 12? No, 11. Can throw this a couple of times. <laughs> okay, let's just get behind the wall. Let them come closer. It's you and me, Zulik. Fuck it! I don't like this fight at all. I didn't get to, like, use any of my tactics that I was looking forward to. Goddamn Sulik. Oh, that guy is wearing a using a combat shotgun. And what is he wearing? Ah, that's some kind of special weapon as well. Yeah, we'll actually I'm worried about him. I'm worried about all of this. Yeah, it knocked him back, that's good. I don't want to waste all my homemade grenades either, but let's do it. Knocked him back further, that, that's good. I'm almost dead. Oh, he's fleeing? Nice. So, let's go behind the corner. Yeah, this sucks. It's such a... I had such high hopes for this battle. We'll do a couple of these. Maybe we don't actually need to use more stim packs now because. Just equip this. And I guess we can reload the shotgun while we're here as well. Okay, can we actually tell uh, Zulik to use burst mode? Yeah, burst at will. Because he is go only good that it's maybe not now. <laughs> ah, this is dangerous. Okay, this guy. Uh, combat shotgun. Oh, shit. Can we fire and retreat? Do we have enough? How many action points? Five. Yeah, we should be fine doing this. Burst. Oh. Oh, nice. We killed him. With one burst. Zulik, you can take... Uh, Frog Morton. He has two hit points. Maybe we can do it? No, it's too far away, I think. We 
lost Cassidy. It was a shitty fight, this. Out of range. Okay. Ah, we ran into it this time. It's like a unprepared shit show. Oh, Cassidy's gone. At least we get some. Okay, can we? Can we actually go leave this place and grab the car? Because I won't be able to carry all of this. Yeah, this is Cassidy's stuff. Can we tell Zulik to... Where is Zulik? Where the hell is Zulik? There he is. Okay, this doesn't quite feel as bad as losing dog meat with the beast, but it's, uh... <laughs> it sucks. I... <laughs> and it also, like, sucks that I, I had... This could have been such a cool fight. Setting up traps and, uh... Or maybe it would have been hard to do, I don't know. Yeah, Zulik can... Kill all the rats in there. Actually, we'll go help him. I guess, though, uh, Cassidy didn't get to rot away in Vault City like he was worried about. And he got to go on a little adventure at least. We're still sad. I mean, I don't really know much about uh, character. Your companion stats, but I know he's considered one of the good ones, so it's also bad to lose him for the sake of the game. So, yeah. Uh, but at least Walter is one step closer to snapping completely, <laughs> going off the rails when it comes to uh, hunting uh, criminals. So where did they come from? I mean, how could we even have a... Maybe this would... Yeah. I'm gonna try to comfort myself with... The notion that this might... Have been, been hard to... Solve any other way. But I don't know. Okay, let's save. Sad. <laughs> this is a sad save. Ah... Uh, so, let's see, we'll grab Sulik, get him what in the party, Jimmy? and have him uh, what, loot, Jimmy? I guess. Okay, our jet ran out as well. Okay, Zulik is looting, he's working. Let's see how over encumbered I am. Okay, yeah, my strength is down to one then, I guess. Hmm. Heckler and Kosh G11. This gun revolutionized assault weapon design. The weapon fires a caseless cartridge consisting of a black block of propellant with a bullet buried inside. The resultant weight and space saving allow this weapon to have a very high ma magazine capacity. Okay. So this is like a... Late, later game, mid game weapon I guess. Starting to get more advanced stuff. Wow, he, he's really looting in a far, like a far range. Big range. 
and we are full, so we need to get back to the car, I guess, and, uh, no, we can do this, no, we can't, <laughs> I, I figure we can uh, rest and get back at least one strength, so we can run, oh, that was sad, came out wounded from that one, our little team, oh, it sucks, Gain one perception, not strength yet. Let's rest another day. Let's see if we get get it back. Yeah, now we're up to three, so we can uh, should be able to loot more stuff. Uh, let's see what what, what Sulik has looted, by the way. Only shotguns or oh, combat shotguns. Yeah, nice. And a couple of sawn-off shotguns as well. Okay, now at least we can use Cassidy's old leather jacket. Hmm, it's sad, but... Okay. So, what weapons should Zulik use now? Is it the submachine gun or combat shotgun? I know the Echo mod changes shotguns so they have l lesser range, but they do much more damage to unarmored targets, which is cool. But I think, uh, yeah, we'll use this. Upgrade our armor, and should we use... We'll try this one out, actually. No, minimum strength 5. It has higher strength requirements, so we... We can't even use these ones, really. Desert Eagle uh, or the shotgun, so... I guess... 10 to 16, and this is 12 to 28. Yeah, but it, this uh, this has higher damage, but won't... No range, and it's bad against armored uh, targets. Yeah, we'll, we'll do start like that. And also, obviously, you need to reload all the goddamn time. Yeah, we need to be careful about these raised plates. Yeah, you see a raised plate? Okay, now I see one. Uh. Yeah, we successfully disarmed the trap. What if we could pick it up and like reuse it? That would be excellent. I think it's perception that lets us uh, spot the traps or maybe also trap skill. I see like possibilities of how you could do this now. You could sneak up to this door and like lock it behind you. Oh, it would have been wonderful. We could have survived. Yeah, look at this. You could have just snuck into this room here, then lock the door behind you and set up traps like all the way through here with like a tower defense game. <laughs> ah. Okay. God damn my no reload uh, policy. I mean, sometimes like this, I feel like it actually makes the episode worse that I don't just reload and uh, <laughs> do it that like the proper scientist vigilante way. But then, like, obviously it would be d dishonest and also it would ruin the whole meta game of you guys knowing that I really won't reload because that's what makes it uh, like organic and uh, I, I don't like it what would be the, the word unpredictable okay a raised plate oh, this is very difficult to no okay the raised plate is there more of them hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, you could say, like, in a vacuum, I could make this episode better by just reloading and doing it the more fun, cool way with traps. But the overall strategy, I think, to make a better have a better channel of, of let's plays is to not reload and just have that as a rule forever uh, you wonder if it still works the new coca cola machine can we repair it you cannot repair it the answer to my question all right a raised plate where is it outside oh shit that scared scared me so much okay didn't kill me at least whoa <laughs> jump scared okay did we lose a strength again yeah yeah we're over encumbered need jet and Zulik is encumbered as well what the hell is this okay power generator what's electrobox power generator fairly standard as a backup generators before the war this is this looks like the dining room and they have toilets out here for the miners yeah let's actually use a jet we can walk properly or run and it's also kind of like role-playing friendly to actually use jet when you don't need to just because it's convenient like the convenience and how annoying it is to to just walk around can uh sort of replace the the thing that Walter feels when he really wants jet <laughs> because both he and me wants jet really really bad when he's just walking equally annoying for both of us hmm. my out of ammo again Oh, no, shit, we got more. We got two more thugs. Could at least have trapped those fuckers. This is make, getting me annoyed. How is Sulik's health, by the way? I didn't think there were anything more to be worried about. Okay, Sulik is full health. Okay, he should be fine. We are not, so... Yeah, but we're not fleeing away from Zulik. I think this whole thing with Cassidy would have made uh, Walter more out of ammo. Yeah, we're truly out of ammo. Let's do this then. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, let's do the Desert Eagle. We have. Uh, we can actually use that. Use one of these as well. Yeah, the whole thing with Cassidy might make uh, Walter more inclined to, like, help out. Oh! We gained 3,000 experience for wiping out the whole gang. That's some... Uh, <laughs> what, what do you call it? Feels a little bit better, at least. Gain a level, also. Shotgun shells... More shotgun shells. But no shotguns? What the hell? And 
let's see. Yeah, we actually get a perk now. Let's see if there's something we want to use already or if it's something we want to save. Mm, I think this one. Living Anatomy. I think this is a really, really, really cool thing. Because you get one time bonus of 10% to doctor skill. And you also do five more damage per attack to living creatures. Like for role playing reasons, I think uh, being very skilled in an anatomy and sort of a it's sort of a scientific approach to more damage in combat. So I really like that one. And also, just uh, strategically, I think this one works better for a character like Walter that will do more area of effect damage because this five plus will. Uh, be on all the attacks compared to sort of a sniper that does high damage single target attacks so i'm gonna go for that one nice and now we have uh we have uh 45 skill points i still really don't know where to put them yeah let's do a couple of traps i guess and we know now we'll need a bunch of first aid as well to make super stim packs put a couple in doctor as well and uh, hmm. yeah we'll just uh, I'll just save some points as well yeah why not just save them all basically until we see what we need yeah, I think we need to go to the car and uh, drop off some stuff. And we can also talk to the sheriff about us wiping out the gang. Should be happy about that. No. Oh. Here. You did it. You killed Frog. Great job. Great job. Here's a thousand in reward money. Of course, his brothers aren't going to be too happy with you when they hear about it. But hey, <laughs> that's all part of the job. Brothers? You didn't tell me that Frog had didn't brothers? I? Must have plum darn slipped my mind. <laughs> yep, that's what it did. Well, he's got three older brothers. Even meaner than he is, from what I hear. Let's see. Toad, Newt, and Snake Morton, if I remember right. Well, heck, you know how tall tails can get. By the way, keep that badge I gave you. You earned it, Sheriff. Just three more notches on my gun. No problem. So long, Sheriff. <laughs> okay, can we... Will he attack us or... Search the locker. Can we take... The... We're a Sheriff, so we should be able to take this, this kind of Sheriff equipment. Oh, shotgun shells, we'll leave the normal shotgun, and stim packs, and a hunting rifle, hmm, is this better than, uh, can we even take this, yeah we can, I don't even know if that's better, could be better for ranged attacks, I uh, don't know how suited that is for Zulik, More jet, that's good. Oh, locker. Ooh, what is this? 14 mil millimeter pistol. I think this is really strong, if I remember correctly. Wow, it's much stronger. Do we need more? No, it's the same strength requirement. Four. Nice. So now we have a lot of like... <laughs> different options in terms of weapons to use and who to give them to stuff like that let's see if doc johnson pays well for weapons or i guess we could also go sell it in the casino he had a lot of money as well no he doesn't have the money we paid him for the for all the knowledge 
That's too bad. Yeah, I'll actually buy a Mentats, I think, because it could be useful. Okay, that's fine. Hmm, should we sell this one? Is it... Oh, wow! That's really expensive. Does that mean it's really, really good as well? Yeah, maybe we should give this to Zulik, actually. So, we can sell this hunting rifle then, and the shotguns. Let's see if he starts using it. Yes. So, Zulik also thinks that's the best weapon to use. We'll give him the ammo for it as well. Yeah, and we have all the scorpion tails to turn into the doctor in Vault City as well for knowledge of drugs. Yeah, what kind of goddamn drugs will he teach us about then? Since this guy taught us about um, stim packs so well. <laughs> mm, let's see. Uh, should we save some kind of a normal weapon to use for like... Yeah, I'll do that. I'll save one sawn off shotgun actually. To use for like easier stuff easier critters because I don't think you want to use like the expensive 14 millimeter ammo for just if you encounter some rats or something oh I forgot about this food as well I, I equipped it because I, I thought I'd use it to see if it gave us some buff or something let's actually just try it now we can make more later Oh, we gained hit points, so it's like healing. Oh, nice. Okay, I found a Scordy. He's the guy standing here. I, the, he looked like some kind of guard with his armor, but he's the mayor of this town. And I'll um, try to buy the mine from him and see if that works. I don't remember ever doing it in this game. Okay, recently we started losing too many outgoing gold shipments. Looks like some new gang of robbers come down from the north. These bastards not only prey for, the, for caravans with little protection, but they're also brutal with their victims. This is bad for business. I want you to remove them. Ah, perfect. I'm up for it. How many are there and where can I find them? From the reports, it seems that several different groups are operating in the area to the northeast of here. I would say there are about 20 robbers all in all. Just patrol long enough and uh, you ha don't have to worry about finding them. They'll find you. I'll start right away. Oh, I forgot one thing. To get the reward for each robber leader you kill, I'll need some kind of proof. Just a matter of principle. I've heard this particular gang has their members tattoo their arms. Take this knife, you know what to do. Okay, so it's like we're gonna cut off their tattoos as proof. Yes, like wasteland justice. Uh, sure, thanks. I don't think Walter has a problem with that. Uh, and um, yeah, I run this hair casino and I help run things in town too. I keep track, track of things like deeds and such. Deeds to what? Uh, right now I have a Jim Dandy of a deed for sale. What's that? It's the deed to the great Vanamingo mine just outside of town. So this is where we buy the mine, I guess. This sounds interesting. Um, some dang critters in there that need to be killed before anyone will work the mine. If you were to buy the deed and then kill off the critters infesting it, I'd be happy to buy the deed back of, of you for a nice profit. How much? Heck, more than double. Okay. Sounds good to me. How much was that again? Thousand for the deed? Yeah, I'll buy the deed. We're Actually, we have five thousand now, so... I'll go ahead and record the great Vanamingo mine's deed in your name. Let me know when you got it all cleared out and I'll buy it back from you. Okay. So this was... Um, this was more like of a clear quest than I thought it would be. I thought like it would uh, just be us buying the mine indeed and um, him almost like tricking us into buying it, but then clearing it out and selling it back. Uh, but 
okay, I'll end the episode here, and so in the next one, we'll either take care of the Vanamingos, or try to, or try to go after the robbers out in the desert to the northeast. Either way, it's gonna be great fun, so I'll see you in the next one.